Welcome to our project of painting the little boat. Here's what you'll need to get started. So this is a painting that I've been working on from some photos of some small fishing boats in Ireland when I was there a few years ago. Uh, it's not finished yet, but as you can see, we have three little boats up against a dark background with a nice sloping ground that they're sitting on. And I thought it might be fun as a project for us to just focus on the boat on the far right and I'll walk you through the steps of doing this painting one at a time. Let's get started on the drawing. So here's the original photograph. So here's the drawing for our project with the boat down here in the foreground. I've added the horizon line, which is essentially the bottom of the wall. Put in some guidelines here so that we have the notation that the ground is sloping and some verticals to indicate that this is a block wall back here, which will mostly depict with paint as we get a little farther into the project. The rope that's holding the boat is just suspended going up over the wall, out of the picture. It'll make sense when we get it painted. We need to make our decision where the dark and the lights and most of the mid values will be. So it's a good idea to examine a little um, value study before we start painting. So here's a little value study. Please take the time to go through this step. Understand where the very darks are in the background, how they make the back wall stand up, how the mid darks in the foreground slanting like that um, help you delineate the slope. It's real important to get something just as dark on the boat as you have in the background and to understand the function of where the very, very lightest parts are. So take 10 minutes, doesn't matter how well you draw the boat in your value study, just go through it so that before you start to paint, you've already made a map for yourself and you have it down. So you know if you need to get about to a four in darkness, to a 10 all the way down to black, figure it out now so you don't have to spend so much time sneaking up on it like I do. I've been painting in the background on my painting five, six, seven times and it's not dark enough yet. This way, I, if I had done the value study like I'm telling you to do, uh, I would have gotten close to dark a lot quicker and had a map to preserve my lights. So if you get your drawing done, get uh, yourself set up, We'll get started on the painting. If you have any questions, please feel free to call me. And um, can't wait to start with the paint. 